Got Tucker and baby May May right out here in front. Martini's dragging up the rear. You got to keep up, baby. That stroller will be in in a day or two. Come on. River's way up. And another spectacular Ehrenberg, Arizona sunset. So we're going to walk on down here down the dirt road and get our exercise and try to get back to camp before it gets too dark. Had to pick up Martini. I think her knees are bothering her. I thought I'd show you this water here. It's Colorado River. It really changes a lot in the height. I was talking to Bill today, a friend of mine. He says this is one of the largest irrigation projects in the world. It was uh damming up this Colorado River and using all the water for irrigation. Did not know that. But Bill was a long haul trucker for many years. He spent a lot of time out here on the West Coast in the 60s. But you can see it's got a pretty good flow to it. I talked to a guy at the laundromat today. He said they were huge flathead catfish in these waters. Catch them with brim. Same thing we do back in Georgia. Don't get me wrong. I love spending time with the group. It's great to have so many friends here. But I enjoy my alone time as well. Really hoping to do more of that in the tracker. But uh, talking to people, getting recommendations, looking for a good mechanic, getting advice from all over. So I'm sure that problem's going to resolve itself soon. You know, this is not Georgia for sure, but around the water out west plenty of life. And I dare say, like up at Havasu and these other desert areas, there's just as much life there as there is in the, the woods of Georgia. Just a different kind. They all, they both have their beauty. But uh, this is hard to beat. Can you see the mountains behind me? in the distance. That's what I'm talking about. I'm in love with this place. I'm just going to say it. I think you guys already knew. Well, it's the next morning. I just have drove uh, into Blythe, California. It's about 10 minutes from Ehrenberg. I got a shop working up a price on uh, engines. We're looking at new and used. So far, all I know is that a new engine is going to be around $2,200. And my brother-in-law looked up the hours. It's going to be 10 hours labor to replace it. So uh, this guy is also looking uh, for a good used engine. So that's what's going on. When I know more about the tracker, I will let you guys know. And went out this morning, went to the post office, went and got me some fresh water, some spring water. It's not as good as my well water back home, but it'll it'll do. So running errands, getting things done. I'm gonna end this little video right here. Just real life stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching my channel. And uh, We'll see you again soon. I'll show you these mountains up here I'm driving to.